Guten Morgen, ich bin James York und welcome to Cozy Languages. Das ist my own challenge of learning languages und this time I learn Deutsch through songs. Tag 7, Lektion 7. So, today I will give you a little lektion of German, what I've understood so far, what I've learned so far, and at the end of the video I will show you something else so i want you to watch the whole video because it will be very interesting and entertaining i've listened to drei songs and in seven days i've learned nouns i've learned adjectives verbs and some random phrases and results i will show you today let's start with nouns so first of all i've learned four seasons now i know seasons der Winter, der Frühling, der Sommer und der Herbst. They are of masculine, so we see the article der, it is the definite article masculine, singular. Now let's take a look at some other nouns that I've learned as well. So, I've learned three locations, Moscow, Moscow, Russland, Russia und Frankreich, France. And beautiful phrases like ich komme aus Moscow. I come from or I am from Moscow, ich komme aus Russland, I am from Russia, und ich komme aus Frankreich, I come from France, which is very useful for me personally. Now let's take a look at some other words. Der, dir, ein Bruder. So der, as I said, this is definite article, masculine, singular, in nominativus. Dir, this is also definite article, masculine, but plural, in nominativus und ein, this is indefinite article, masculine, singular, und in nominativus. And Bruder, this is the word brother. If you see in the dictionary der Bruder, this is masculine. Der Vater, father, same, father is masculine. Das dir ein Mädchen. Das, this is definite article, neuter, singular, und nominativus. Dear, this is definite article, neuter, but plural, und nominativus. So, now we know that dear, it is the article that is used in plural for both masculine und neuter. Und ein, this is indefinite article, singular und neuter, und in nominativus. So, ein, same, indefinite article is used both for masculine und Neuter. And Madhen, this is very interesting. I was wondering why do we say das Madhen? Because Madhen actually it is the word girl. Why is it in neuter? I didn't catch it. So if you are a German speaker, maybe you can explain the whole history. Why do we say das Madhen but not dear Madhen? Next, das Land, land or country, das Meer. Sehr, so also neuter, der Wind, Wind, masculine, dir, Welt, dir, Welt und eine Welt. So, dir, Welt, dir, this is the definite article, singular und feminine in nominativus. So, as you see, dir, it is the same article that we use in plural, but it is singular and feminine as well. Und eine, this is indefinite article, singular, feminine, in nominativus. Welt, world. Dear Blume, flower, feminine, well, logical as well. Das Feuer, fire. Das Eis, ice. Dear Liebe, love. Und das Leben, life. Dear Wand, wo. Das Tor, door. Das Glas. Glass, der Tisch, table, und der Spiegel, mirror. Das Wohl, health, das Blut, blood, das Auge, an eye, und dir Präne, Tier. Dir Zeit, time, und dir Stunde, hour. Another useful question for us. Was ist das? What is it? Or wer ist das? Who is it? And you just answer das ist. For example, das ist 
I'm not sure whether it is going to be correct uh, or not to say this, but das ist mein Bruder. This is my brother. We will see my today as well. What grammatical points I've learned with nouns? Well, first of all, I've learned that there are four cases in German. Nominativus, accusativus, dativus, and genitivus. As well as there are prepositions that we use with cases. For example, prepositions like in, auf, und an, we use with both accusative and dative. While prepositions like bis und für, we use only with accusative, and aus, zu, bei und von, we use only with dative. As well, I've learned that the word you changes due to the case. So, du, you, dich, you, dir, you, und deine, your. And as well, the definite article der, masculine, changes due to the cases. So, der, nominativus, den, accusativus, dem, dativus, und des, genitivus. It is quite complicated, but I actually found one logic. So, I was searching for question words. And question words will help us a little bit. So, in nominativus, we use two question words like wer, who, und was, what. So, we see wer and our masculine article will be der. In accusative, we use then, also translated as who, und was, what. And here we use den. And our question, when. In dativus, we use them, who, und was, what. And here we have dem. So, them und dem. Genitivus, we use wessen, whose. And as well, I've learned some combination of articles and prepositions. So, let's start with zu. You have two variations, zu und zum. Zu plus der, it will give us zu, and same with zu plus dem, zum. And as well, the preposition in, that is used in both accusative and dativus. Ins, so this is a combination of in plus das, das, our neuter article, and in plus dem, it is im. Now, let's take a look at adjectives, what I've learned with adjectives. First of all, word so which is translated as so, kalt, so kalt, so cold, and so heiß, so warm or so hot. Groß, big, klein, little, good, good, schlecht, bad, leer, empty, voll, full, traurig, sad, and glücklich, happy. And some other adjectives, white, white, or Big, schön, beautiful, pur, pure, gold, gold, rot, red, und wild, wild. So these are the adjectives. And what I've learned as well over here, I've learned also possessive adjectives. So when you want to say my, your, or his, or her, so belonging, it is genitive case, I think. So what do we have? Ich, mein, meine, du, dein, deine. Er, sein, seine, sie, ihr, ihre, es, same as er, sein, seine, wir, unser, unser, ihr, euer, euer, und sie, ihre, ihre. And as well, in the second song, I found that there are three types of adjectives, weak, strong, and mixed. So, weak adjectives, these are adjectives that are usually used with definite article, Strong adjectives, usually with indefinite articles, and mixed without any articles. They also change due to the gender, whether it is singular or plural as well, and due to the cases. And I want to create a beautiful table. Let's start with nominativus weak. So, for masculine, feminine, and neuter, it will have the ending i, der kleine, das kleine, und dir kleine. While for plural, it will have the ending dir kleinen, i, n. Strong adjectives. For masculine, we have ein kleine, the ending i, r. While for both feminine and plural, we have the ending just i, eine kleine, und just kleine. 
And for neuter, we have the ending ein kleines. Let's continue with mixed. So, with mixed, in masculine, you have the same form as you have in strong. Klein, just without article. For feminine, same, the same form that you have in strong. Klein, with the ending e. For neuter, same form that you have in strong. Kleines. Und for plural, this one I want you to remember, kleinen. So it is same form that you have in weak. The easiest part to remember that feminine stays the same in nominativus, always just the ending e. Let's go to accusativus. I want to continue with accusativus because we've had a lot of accusativus and dativus as well. Weak masculine, der kleinen. So you have the ending en. Weak, feminine and neuter, it will be der kleine or das kleine. And for plural, it will be die kleinen, so the same as masculine. Strong, ein kleinen, so the same form as the weak one, ein kleinen. For feminine, also the same form as in the weak one, eine kleine. Strong, neuter, I want you to remember, ein kleines, so the same form as in nominativus. And plural, Kleine, also the same form as in nominativus. Mixed, masculine, kleine, so the same form as the weak. Feminine, kleine, so in nominativus, in accusativus, the same form for feminine, but just with the ending ear. For neuter, kleines, so the same form as in nominativus, for both strong and mixed. And plural, kleine, the same form as in nominativus. And we have the tibus. So here in general you have the ending en, but you need to remember for masculine that tibus weak you will add the ending em. Remember our question there was vem der rotem. We had der rotem gold. And for strong neuter rotem. So if you'd like you can use this table as well. It is quite easy to use it. Now let's come back to our lection. Sieben. And let's continue with verbs. Sein, to be. Gehen, to go or to leave. Werden, to become or as well werden. It is the auxiliary verb. Will, to show the future. Leben, to live. Lieben, to love. Trinken, to drink. Tanzen, to dance. Denken, to think. Haben, to have. Machen, to do. Beginnen, to begin. Weinen, to cry or to whine. Remember? Kennen, to know, und wissen, to know as well. Müssen, must or need. Können, can. Und wiederkommen, to come back. Und dahin fliegen, to fly away. Let's take a look at the conjugation. The first verb that I vandalized in song number 1, it was the verb wissen. You see it in front of you. And I will explain a little bit the difference between kennen and wissen. So, if you remember, canon, it is the verb that you use if you know something or somebody by acquaintance. And to wissen, you know the fact, but you haven't seen this person yet or you haven't been at this place yet. So wissen, you know the fact, canon, you know by acquaintance. And you see the conjugation, so this is your regular verb. Weiss, weist, weiss, wissen, weist, wissen. So let's continue with verb denken. So denken, it is regular verb, and a lot of verbs actually they conjugated the way denken conjugated. For example, leben, lieben, trinken, tanzen, denken, machen, beginnen, und weinen. So all of them conjugated the same way denken is conjugated. Ich denke, denkst, denkt, denken, denkt, und denken. Wir wissen, denken, und sie wissen, denken. A lot of verbs, they have the same form as the infinitive in via und sie. Let's continue with haben, to have, habe, hast, hat, haben, habt und haben. Let's continue with our modal verbs, müssen und können. They are quite similar. So, muss, kann, musst, kannst, muss, kann, müssen, können, müsst, könnt, müssen, können. Let's continue with verb werden, to become, or the auxiliary verb, will, in the future. Werde, wirst, wird, werden, werdet, werden. Gehen, to go, 
or to leave, gehe, gehst, geht, gehen, get und gehen. And our wonderful verb sein, to be, we have learned not only the present form of the verb sein, but also the past form of the verb sein. So let's take a look together. Ich bin, I am, ich war, I was. Du bist, you are, und du warst, you were. Er, sie, es ist, he, she, it is, und er, sie, es war, he, she, it was. Wir seid, we are, wir waren, we were. Ihr sind, you are, und ihr wart, you were. Und sie seid, they are, sie waren, they were. These are the main conjugations that I've learned so far. With the second song, I found the form nicht for negation, but with the third song, I found another form kein, and it is quite complicated for me to understand for now what is different between nicht and kein. And now let's come back to our results. So what I've learned so far. I've learned 31 nouns with only drei songs. Ten phrases plus wird alles gut, everything is okay or everything is fine, und die wahre Liebe, true love. Sixteen adjectives, as well as eighteen verbs. Twenty-three random words plus a line and alles so here you can see all the random words und, and, doch, but, dann, then, then, because, auch, even or also, wir, how, as or like, wer, who, when, when, mehr, more, wirklich, real, our numbers, eins, one, zwei, two, drei, three, vier, four, fünf, Five as well as six and seven, six and seven and hundred, hundred. So adverbs of frequency like immer, always, oft, often, manchmal, sometimes, und nie, never, man, which is used sometimes in passive voice. And so in total, I've learned hundred words, hundred words in only seven days and with only three songs. Can you imagine? Plus die Lektion, for sure, and the word choose. So, it was our Lektion 7 und Tag 7. If you like the video, I want you to push a little like button and to subscribe for sure, because it will help us to grow for sure. And this way I will know that there are people who are interested. Tomorrow I'm going to start new week with a new song and we'll see what next week will give us and choose